is I'm going to just go ahead and start doing edge pairing. This is already in, so there's two types of edges. There are these edges that come together as solid slabs, and then there are e these edges which are two colored. That's kind of like these edges that we found here, solid slab here and two colored. Only in this case, we have to edge pair. Let me just pull it back here a little bit. So we'll do the solid slabs first. This is red and black. Um, uh, let me see if I can find another. Okay, so here's a right over here. So it's just a matter of positioning things and not getting ourselves lost. So this needs to come around, I think, over here. It goes pretty quickly once you get your perspective. It's getting the perspective that's the challenge. So this is in. Turn it away. This is strict 4x4 strategy that I'm doing. Nothing new under the sun, nothing different than what you've seen before. So that's that's good over there. So this is in. Um, here's the yellow one. Let's go ahead and put the yellow one in conjunction here. Move this here. Turn. Praying it's not hurricane season. Turn. 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 Okay, so that's good. See orange, we've got the orange one over here. So let's turn this in the proper place. Turn. 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 That's all rain that you hear. Don't worry, I think we're safe from it. Or maybe not. Okay, looks like the sun is poking out a little bit, so I'll pick up where I left off. I'll tell you that the movement of this is really good. Where I bought this from, this is on, under the mod section on the HK Now store. Uh, the HK Now store go under the mod section and they will sell you a master access cube. Uh, turns really well, very well put together, very well done. So turn, turn, turn turn and up. These are handmade modifications. Now I think we're ready to move on to these kinds. Let's do this one. Black and yellow, or orange rather, and this is black and orange over here. So these guys are going to be matching up with each other. So turn this, put these in line here. Move this up here and now this is going to move down to here. But line it up to something that's not in yet, which is this. So this gets turned down here. You can see this lines up okay here. And then we just go turn, 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 and up. And we're going to just keep following suit. Just keep going to keep doing it like that. So here's a yellow and green. Let's find a yellow and green, which is right over here. So let's turn this in. Like so. Line it up with something that's not already formed here. Like this guy here. Turn it in and go down so you can see the yellows and the greens are lined up. The thing that I enjoy about the 4x4 mods is the fact that it's not quite as grueling as some of the higher order ones, like the 5x5. So they're pretty good ones to quickly go through your uh, strategies, to quickly go through your techniques, because very shortly and very soon, oh god, the sun's coming up more. Um, you're going to find yourself with the last two uh, edges. Just like we found ourselves with the last two centers fairly quickly. This turns here, up here, and here. So this is going to move down to here. So let's put the other, uh, other odd one out up here. So it's just above. So we move it down, lining these guys up. Turn, turn. Turn and up. Okay, so I believe this actually lands us to the last two edges. Red and yellow, yellow and red, green and orange, green and orange. So this is the algorithm that we've seen with all large cubes, getting the last two edges here. So this has to come to here, this has to come to here. And the algorithm to do that, if this needs to come here and these two need to be swapped, is you turn it over here, then you do R, UI, I'm sorry, F I U R I 
F and swing it back and that's in. Okay. So now, aside from the potential parity, we've just converted this into a scrambled axis cube. And now we're gonna solve it as such. Solve it with exactly the same methods, exactly the same techniques. Uh, the only difference is that there's the possibility of a four by four parity that, that might be happening. There's a variety of different types of parity, so let's see how we can navigate our way through that. Um, so let's start off um, getting our green side here. And just like with this, when I knew that there was a green center, held between the two was the solid one. Well, that's what I'm going to do, the solid edge right over here. So we're going to try to launch this into place here. And it's going to be the short edge. These are the long areas. This is the short uh, side here. Just like we did with the axis cube. Brings that in, so we're good. Uh, next will be... Why don't we put the green one, uh, the red one in, because that's this guy over here, so that's easily seen. This will just slide into here. Turn this down here. Matching it up with the red side over here. We got it here and up. So I'm just very quickly going through my, my axis solve here. So these are, these are the solid edges. Now we do the uh, other edges that have to do not with the small side, but with the long side. So this is the long side that's going to be lined up, say, over here, which means that we're looking for the green and orange. Over here, with this side, it's the red and orange side, because you can see that this is lined up here, and the uh, color that they have in common was the orange. So with this edge here, it's going to be the green and orange. Let's see if we can find it. There it is over here. So we're going to see if we can't comfortably and easily Slide this in to where it's supposed to go. This is good over here. And slide it up here. Okay, so this edge is in. Next, the red and orange. Find the red and orange quickly. And like I say, there is a learning curve with this, so it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, is it red and orange? Yeah, it should be. Red and yellow, rather. Yellow. That's yellow, not orange. Right over here, so I'm going to have to blast this one out. Turn. 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 Okay, now we have to coincide it with, with this guy here, which we should be able to fairly easily do. Turn this like so, move this in, and move it up. Okay, so basically this is the cross. Not unlike when we got the cross with the axis cube, this is our axis cross. Now we just have to put in the corners. These corners are these little triangles. Over here they were bigger triangles, but now they're little ones. So this is where it needs to be, it just has to be rotated in correctly. So we'll turn it down, down. Now this puzzle loves to, to turn. So we gotta be careful because it'll turn out of your hands and out of your control if you're not careful. Turn so that fits flush over here, so bang, we got that. Here, this is the correct corner. It's just oriented incorrectly. So turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. This is good and up, so we're good over here. Um, so this is actually going to be a three um, corner one. We can do the green one maybe if the green one is convenient to find. Yep, right over here. So let's not lose our orientation here. Alright, so we're going to be rolling this green one here. Turn, 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 so that's good. This is a three color, red, green, and black. Okay, so here's a red, green, and black over here. So we're just gonna roll this in. Turn, turn, and up, turn, 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 and up. And we're good. So we have, basically have our first side over here. So this is, uh, this is our first side. So now we turn this upside down and we roll it in these in exactly the same way. This is gonna come down to here. So we're just gonna do the middle swapping. This is our middle swapping layer. That's all the second layer is. Turn, turn. Turn, 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 and down. So we're good. And I think maybe we got lucky with the second layer. Nope, not exactly. So this guy needs to turn in and turn in from here where the green can come down. So turn, turn, turn. Turn, 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 
Yeah, turn and down. Okay, do we have them all? Yeah, I think we have everything except the last layer. So the last layer, and, whoops, this is the payoff layer. This is the one that's the challenging one. Now, not only do we have the challenge of perspective with the, with the axis cube, with the master axis cube, we have the possibility of parity. So the way I do this is first we'll line up our, we'll line up our um, centers here so that these things are lined up appropriately. So this is how it's going to look when it's when it's lined up. And let's kind of look through our corners a little bit here. This is not where it's supposed to be. This is not. This is. And this is not. So this is okay. We, we basically don't have that type of um, bizarre parity. Um, and actually, doing this kind of cube, I've never found it with this one. And I think it's because these centers orient myself in a way that other four-layered mods can't. So as such, this isn't, uh, as long as I have one where it's supposed to be and the others aren't, they can be rotated around. You know, this needs to be over here, this needs to be over here, this needs to be over here, so, so we're good. Um, now, which is rotated up and which is, which is not rotated correctly? Well, I can tell that by looking to see if I roll these to the corners where they're supposed to be, doesn't make sense. So this, this makes sense. So this is oriented correct. So this is right side up. This blue one is also right side up. What about these guys? Well, I move this here, this is upside down. I move this here, this is upside down. So basically, I've got two that are upside down, which means if these are right side up, this is my L formation. So with my L formation, I'm going to hold it over here, where one of my L is going to be away from my F face, and I'm going to go F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. That's going to predictably give me a line, and that's with this. This and this are now in, as you can see. These are not. This is my line. So, again, bearing in mind, this is my up layer. This is my F layer. F, R, U, R, I, U, I, F, I. Okay, so everything is where they need to be. Now for the super cute part. Now for the part that's the specific challenge with this. What I want to do is I want to coordinate all of these centers here appropriately. So again, let's, let's put them back. The easiest situation is, you know, this center has to be over here. So any type of a solving that I do has to keep the center over here. None of these are rotated in where they're supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is hold it here, and I'm just going to do my R, U, R, U, R, 2, U, R, I until one of these or two are in. If one is in, then we're pretty much done. If two, then we've got a parity type situation. So R, U, R, I, U, R, two U, R, I. Now let's take a look. Okay, we have two edges in and two edges out. So, we have ourselves a unique situation. This is the hardest of parodies. Now, I'll tell you that there's another kind of parody that you can get where three are rotated up and one is rotated out, and then there's a specific way of dealing with that. Now, I'll tell you that for some reason, whenever I've done this, and this is my, I'd say, fourth or fifth time, I have not run across that. That might have to do with the unique situation of these edges. The way these edges are coordinated, you cannot misinterpret which goes where. In other words, in, in, a, in, a, in a Rubik's Cube, one edge, if it's a 4x4, four four, one edge looks exactly like the other edge. In this case, because it doesn't, that may act as a keystone, but I've never run across this, but I have run across this many times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my edges that are in, and I'm going to keep it here because my algorithm will not change this. What I want is I want the one directly across from it in. So I'll have these two in and these two are out. So R, U, R I U R two U R I not yet so do it again R U R I U R two U R I and there it is so that's kind of what I wanted now we need to somehow float these guys in. So we have to do a parity algorithm for this. Now this parity algorithm is structured very much like you've seen previous parity algorithms. If you want to 
flip flop these guys and you, you're in a two by two situation, you see me do the URF algorithm. That's the URF, UU, UU, FRU. You see me do that many times with the cuboids. Well, I can't do it with this one exactly like that because what's going to happen is I'm going to rotate the center around. When I do that, I'm going to find myself in kind of an infinite regress. So what I need to do is I actually need to do a variation of that algorithm. It's still URF, but we have to we have to change it up a little bit. So here's what that's going to be, and, and I've posted this with other types of super cubes. This is just the same kind of thing. But what I'm going to be doing is starting with the top here, I'm going to move the top as a U, and then a, these both together as UI. So the basically I slice this middle one as a UI. Then I'm going to do R and then Fi and I'm going to do it again but just the opposite and it's just going to be the top one here so now I'm going to go like then it's going to be just a U then an Ri and then F now I'm going to split it just the opposite here so instead I'm going to go like um, split it back just the opposite of what I did so Split it like this, U, I, U. Then the same thing down here uh, this time with, uh, with um, D, I, D. And then finish up with uh, F, I, R, Um, UI, then F, RI, and split this back with a D. And look what we did. We got it all back. This is a classic, um, this is a classic, uh, um, super cube four layer algorithm of rotating these back without rotating these uh, the the sides of exchanging these so now we've got it now it's just a matter of these guys this is in these guys are not so we'll just do our algorithm the, with this being u forward forward back back forward back back forward so now all these are where they're supposed to be. We just rotate them in now. Let's see how quick we can do that. Turn, 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 and come across here. Turn, 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 come across here, turn, 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 and in the home stretch here. Turn, 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 and you've done it. You have conquered your master axis cube. Parody and all, and I think that was the only parody that we had to deal with. Managed to avoid the other ones, but I think that just has to do with the internal structure of this. So, as the sun is poking out and the rain is done, uh, to any collector, I do uh, recommend going to the HK Now store and buying this. A worthy addition to the Axis Cube. What you like about this, you'll love about this. It's that extra bit of challenge. So give it a try. Thanks for watching.